I thought if there was a bright spot tonight, it was the bench. Uh, I thought that uh, Jackie Young really got uh, got a major test today. I thought she did a pretty good job uh, for her first uh, big game on the on a big stage. And I thought Michael Johnson came in, gave us good minutes off the bench as well. So I, I thought our bench was a, definitely a positive. Um, just really, really disappointed in uh, in pretty much everything: execution, um, inability to get the ball to Bree, and uh, just completely ineffective offensively. Uh, Jackie, okay. She's doubtful for Saturday. Is it ankle, knee? Yeah, ankle. ankle. How critical was it at the end of the third quarter where it was one and all of a sudden it was seven? Yeah, that, you know, it's probably the difference in the game. But, you know, you, you can say that, but, I mean, we didn't play very well in the first quarter either. You know, I, I think the way we started. Um, but that definitely was a was a bad, uh, bad stretch for us. One of the things Gino mentioned was you play a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, which he said he would too with the talent that you have. Does that maybe come at the cost of maybe getting into a flow? It's not our intention to play one-on-one. -on -one. That was our problem. We played one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, our intention is to share the ball and to move the ball. And, uh, and I think our frustration showed early, and it turned into one-on-one -on -one, um, with our, our wings. And that was, that was another source of disappointment for us. They were able to get to the free throw line a lot more than you guys were. Yeah. Was it just the way they attacked, or did you I think I don't know. I mean. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> about that myself. Can't wait to watch the film. I, uh, I think if you look close enough, you can see fouls pretty much on every possession. Uh, I thought we had we had plenty of opportunities to get to the free throw line, but uh, we weren't able to to uh, to do it quite as well as they did. What do, you, what do you think you learned about your team tonight? Well, I'm surprised, and uh, I, I really didn't expect that. So, mm -hmm. um, I think we've got some things to work on. I think we if we learn from it, it's great. You know, it's a game in December that we can learn a lot from. Uh, we've got a lot of room to grow. Uh, I think we need to find somebody that will get the ball to Bree, and that's um, that would that would have helped us if we could have had that uh, that connection on the passing today. Well, well, what nice to happen to get the ball to Bree? Where, 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 well, I mean, I, I think we we actually we 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 did it. We just threw it out of bounds, or we threw it too low, or we you know we 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 had trouble making the actual <laughs> pass. And I don't think it was the defense because a lot of times we were open. You know, I don't think they were guarding us when we were making the pass. So I think a little bit of it is is awareness. The wings need to be more aware while they're dribbling is when she was open. And then the high-low game was, um, you know, that's that's what we wanted to do. And, and we, you know, we, we turned it over pretty much. Um, well, not every possession, but a lot of them. So, you know, we just, we've got to work on our passing. I think that's something we can take away to practice. Well, for these but, fixable mistakes, though, I mean. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Personnel, it's something working on passing or working on something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think we saw some of them coming, so it's not a total surprise, but uh, I don't think to that extent. I asked him the same question, Coach. Why do you think, compared to your normal games with them, the three was gone then for both sides? Yeah, that was another bright spot for us. Our three-point defense was, was pretty good tonight. Um, we well we sh we shot a few at the end that we you know kind of had to so I mean you take maybe three or four of those away but but other than that I thought the shot selection was poor I think we were just like so anxious to shoot it that we just let it go and uh, really really poor decisions I thought on that shot selection do you think that's because they speed you up or were your players just anxious for the game or I, mean I think it's all about I want to score and I've got to do it soon uh, I think we're impatient I think our younger players are impatient uh, I don't think you see that from from Lindsay and Bree but you see that from the young ones uh, they their job is to score and they you know they're they're they were just trying a little too hard I think to score Lindsay, I I think you're something like 114 and two against all teams except UConn in your career. What's, what's the frustration level trying to get over this hurdle time that you have? Uh, I think it's it's not getting over the hurdle. I think it's just being able to play well for 40 minutes and being able to play our game. Um, Coach talked about being efficient offensively, and that was my fault. I think I think we have to make sure that we're we're putting or I'm putting my teammates in positions that they're going to be successful. And so we have to find better ways for to get brief touches, like she said. But I think the frustration comes from. Um, just not playing well. I think at times we were sped up because of their defense, and I think um, at times 
when we were on defense, we just we just weren't sticking to our exi- uh, assignments. And so just the frustration that we're not playing well and not playing to the best of our ability is the biggest disappointment. Well, you said you were surprised a little bit by your guys. <coughs> you were surprised at how you kind of played? No, episode. I thought Gabby Williams though was really was really good today. I, I don't I don't know that she's had that kind of game regularly. I think we expected it from Collier and Samuelson, but but Williams I thought really I mean she got any rebound she wanted. Um, I mean her stat line was <coughs> phenomenal. She she really really did a lot of damage, um, both hitting the free throw jumper which we ex- knew she could do, but um, the way she rebounded I thought was just uh, she really really went after the ball. I, I was really impressed with her. You were already talking about how you were happy with Jackie, but can you talk a little bit about her defense on Samuelson? She was the only one I thought could guard her. You know, I think we um, we looked at our starters and, and uh, didn't feel like we had a, a good defender for her. I mean, Bree could guard her, but then we wanted her to guard the other three people also. Um, we thought about playing a little bit of zone, worried about the threes. Um, you know, we played a couple possessions of it. So I, I think she's got a lot to learn. Jackie's got a lot to learn. Um, but she has the length and the... Uh, the discipline to do it. And she did bother yeah, she got beat off the dribble quite a bit. I think she was more worried about her making shots, and uh, we didn't we didn't have good help rotation, which was the plan. Is uh, is this the loss here tonight a little more frustrating? Just I guess in terms of if you look at like the circumstances, they lost a lot of their star players from last year. This was the more experienced group. It's a little more frustrating to know that it came from that standpoint. You know, I think like Lindsay said, we're just frustrated. We're just, we just didn't play well. You know, you didn't go down swinging. Like, let, let's play our game, and, and if we lose, you know, 72 to 71 on a buzzer beater, then it's a great game, and, you know, we did a lot of good things. But, but we can't feel good about the way we played, and that's, that's where the frustration is. Are there players on this team who needed to see this kind of result, just needed to see a game play out this way in order to understand um, what you're talking about? I don't think so. I, th- I think we could have done without that. Um, uh, I no, I, I think we've like I said we've had these problems in small minutes, and, you know. And tonight it was just you know, kind of over the whole game. So I think um, I think we knew it could happen, but uh, I think there's a better way to have that lesson learned. Bree, how how frustrating does it get with the layups? I mean, there were probably five of them right there that were point blank that you hit in your sleep probably, and they just weren't falling. How frustrating was that? Um, of course, it's super frustrating to miss layups any game, so it's very frustrating for myself. How do you regroup mentally to really stay in it and go back at it and you know come on, take the same shot the next time? Then? I try not to worry about the missed shots, just really looking forward to the next one. I can't go back and change a missed shot, so it's really looking to the next one and to make the next one. For Brie or Lindsay, what can you guys, how can this just add more fuel to fire heading forward now that, you know, if you guys want, obviously the goal to win a national championship, you got some things to work on. Where are you guys looking to motivate you through uh, the rest of the season? Yeah, I think uh, we're obviously watching them tomorrow and, you know, break it down play by play what happened. But um, I think it's definitely going to be good for us to be able to see it on film and see where we could get better, where we could be in help. Um, where our spacing could be better, where breeze open, things like that, and just being able to kind of see the bigger picture of the game. Because um, I think when you're out there on the court, you don't always see what's going on sometimes. But um, I think we're definitely going to learn from this. The um, coach has been preaching it all season about the little things, and um, and this is just you know she talked about it happening in little sections throughout the previous the first few games, but being able to see the whole game where we just missed box outs, um, missed our assignments, weren't in help, missed layups, missed free throws. Um, just little things like that, not taking care of the ball, things like that, that we're able to see on film and kind of grow from there. You said you needed to help the offense be more efficient, specifically, you know, just right after the game. What do you need to do specifically to kind of help the you know, offense not maybe go through the ruts that you guys went mm-hmm. through in this game? I think a big part of um, what I need to do as a leader is just not to, not to assume anything, basically. So um, just kind of making sure that everyone knows exactly where we're doing at the right time and not to... Make, just making sure I'm saying everything needs to be said and not letting anything go unheard. Um, I think sometimes I assume that we know certain things or we know where to be, things like that, but um, obviously we don't. So I think it's just you know putting my teammates in the best in the best position to score and making sure that we know exactly where the ball should be going on a certain play.